Good morning, caregivers. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia live on Facebook. I am Carol Howell, your host, internationally certified dementia practitioner and Amazon best-selling author. Thank you for waking up this morning and tuning into Facebook. Maybe you're watching this in replay. Hey, that's just as good. I'm happy you're there. And you might be watching this on YouTube. Our shows are posted every time, we, every Monday through Thursday, every time we do one on our YouTube channel, which is called Let's Talk Dementia. And you can catch them there anytime and then share them with lots of people. We'd like to thank our sponsors for today's show, Editor Beth. Editor Beth, you can find her at editorbeth.com. That's what I was trying to say. She is amazing at putting her eyeballs on what you have written to make it as well prepared for everybody else to see as you can get it to be makes you look really good so contact Beth at editorbeth.com HD Imports Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill South Carolina phone number is 803-985-0985 wonderful mechanics for your Honda Kia Toyota Acura and I uh, left out something. Honda, Kia, Toyota, Acura, Hyundai. That's it. <laughs> and Life in the Carolinas, the award-winning television show, Life in the Carolinas. And you can find them at lifeinthecarolinas.com to find out where the show is in your area. And if it's not local for you, well, then you can find it on YouTube. And we thank these folks for sponsoring us. My mouth is as dry as cotton balls. So this is what's going on today. I am um, broadcasting from my new office um, here in Florida. Got my purple prints put on the wall. This office is um, a little bit of an explanation of what married life is like. You know, where you've got this personality and that personality coming together to become one in a marriage. Well, in this office, we've got my personality the purple prints and I've got my ukuleles out and my um what you call it, my drums out and you know the things that are me and they're kind of mixed with some Dale Earnhardt Jr. some Star Wars and who else oh Richard Petty yay I'm so excited to have all that in my office <laughs> But alas, when you downsize, that's what happens. But we're very glad to be here. During this process of packing up and then unpacking, I um, started having allergies and I've been told it's probably from all the cardboard and all the dust that comes off from cardboard. And man alive, so you take a couple antihistamines and your mouth feels like cotton. But I wanted to talk with you today about uncomfortable clothing. I called this show Uncomfortable Clothing. I ain't got time for that. Now, who does want to have uncomfortable clothing? Just tell me that. When you put on something and you constantly are fidgeting with it, I tell people, if you once during the day, think about your underwear. You got on the wrong underwear. Time to buy new underwear. It's the truth. Ladies, if you're constantly tugging at your bra or your underwear or riding up or, or, or the waistband shot or whatever, then it's time for new underwear. You should not be thinking about your underwear during the day. Well, you know how annoying uncomfortable clothing can be. Now, if you have dementia and your clothing becomes uncomfortable, it can really actually be painful. Now, why is that? Well, one of the reasons is the fat pads under your skin begin to disappear as you age, and that means the nerve endings are more topical. So what you feel, what that feels like to me, which feels good to me, on somebody with um, advanced dementia, it might actually be painful because the nerves are more topical, more sensitive. So we get on these pieces of clothing that bother us, and we get a little agitated and then not so happy mood and you wonder why well that's why it actually can be painful for folks and you just don't want that now the other thing is you don't know what feels good to them and what doesn't are they um, in a bad mood because their clothing is too tight or maybe their clothing is bothering them in such a way. If we're trying something we've never tried before on them, they're wearing something they haven't worn before, and their mood today is just not quite what you think it should be, you might want to consider 
is there a possibility they don't like how that clothing feels? Maybe it's scratchy. Maybe the fabric doesn't feel good on them. Whatever. And be cognizant that, hey, something's different. They're not in a good mood. And I did change and they're wearing a whole different type of bra or underwear. Or maybe their socks and the socks are too tight or the shoes are too tight or whatever. Be aware that when you change what they're wearing, it can be a problem for them. Now I'm going to tell you one of my big pet peeves. You know, pull-ups, the Depends pull-ups, they're great. I mean, they're just great. You got, got to have them in the world that we travel. So many of our folks are incontinent. You got to have pull-ups. When I go to visit somebody and their pull-ups is way above their waistline, I mean, you know, coming up near their brassiere, they're too big. Go buy the right size pull-ups for your loved one. That's another thing that's not going to feel so good on most people. Now, just as I say that, I sit here and I tell you my brother-in-law, bless his soul, weighs, I don't know what Ernie weighs, but let's, I can just tell you, he is a medium, maybe a large in some things, but a medium. He's, he's teeny in the waist and the hips. He wears extra large depends and pitches a fit when my husband buys large. So what do we buy? We buy extra large. Because the point is, we want our folks to be comfortable. And you have to think about that. Uncomfortable clothing just sucks. It just does. Um, so give some thought to that when you're dressing your loved one. And give some thought to that if you see them being a little agitated throughout the day. And if you see yourself being a little agitated throughout the day because your clothing is uncomfortable, then it's time to clean out and donate and give to somebody who can use it. Heaven knows. We, we cleaned out all kinds of junk before we moved down here. Because we're like, we're not paying to move stuff we don't want. We thought. And then we got down here, and we have had a constant run going to the Goodwill to donate stuff. Didn't clean out the closet a little bit more. So, anyway, that's what's on my mind for today. Keeping our folks comfortable. You know, all of good good dementia caregiving, it, it, it revolves around really just a couple things. Keeping them comfortable. Keeping them safe. Keeping them happy. You do those three things, everything else is going to take care of itself. You do those three things every day, and you're pretty much a miracle worker, aren't you? Because <laughs> that's the challenge, is keeping them safe, comfortable, and happy. And there's more to being comfortable than just making sure that they're you know, in a comfortable chair or, or that they're not being rained upon, that they're in, inside a, a house that's safe. But comfortable can mean something as simple as making sure that their underwear fits properly and their clothing fits properly because it just can make you a little bit not happy when it doesn't feel so good. I know, I know. <laughs> oh my, I wanted to show you Reminisce and Worship, our new book. Um, and it is beautiful, has wonderful full color pictures in it. Isn't that pretty? I can barely see what the picture that you're seeing at the moment. Don't I, oh, that's the music, isn't it? Yeah, let's flip this way. What we got there? That's one you just saw. The door. All right. Oh, yeah. Pretty pictures. And then there is a scripture. And then there are questions, all that relate to the picture. And this book is written for the person with dementia. It is um, bright and colorful and printed on white paper with large print with questions that will take them back in time to the time and space that they probably remember long ago, and that's what we want. And they can work through this themselves, or you as the caregiver can sit down and work with them. You can find this on Amazon, and you can also find it on our website, letstalkdementia.org. Write me and tell me what's on your mind, the questions you might have. Um, if you ever wonder what does that um, woman with the southern accent think about, whatever, and write me, and, and I'll sure tell you my thoughts. You know, my opinion's like a nose. Everybody has one, but sometimes mine's worth hearing. Oh, my goodness. Well, tomorrow we're going to talk about getting out of the house. I had to check my media plan. Getting out of the house and a way that we can do it that makes it safer and more enjoyable. See, we're back to that same stuff, safe and more enjoyable. 
than if we didn't have this particular item. Just want you to see it. I love that Janice is writing in that she loves her PJs. And, oh, Janice, I do too. But when they get uncomfortable, you don't love them anymore, do you? It's just the way that is. But anyway, we're going to talk tomorrow about how to get out with your loved one and keep it a, a safer experience. A special thanks to our sponsor, sponsors Life in the Carolinas at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com, HD Imports on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 803-985-0985, and Beth Crosby at editorbeth.com. You need her to put her eyeballs on what you've written. Well, today I have got so many errands to get done and things to work towards accomplishing, and I'm down here trying to let other folks in this part of Florida know about the work that we are doing. So, girls got to get going. I hope you have a good day. hope your caregiving journey is a good one. I hope your L.O. feels the love and the happiness from you, and when they feel that coming from you, oh, yeah. They're more likely to give it back to you. But they're like your dog. If you're anxious or upset or angry, they're going to feel that too. You know that. You feel the same thing with other people. So make sure that what your L.O. feels is happy, happy, joy, joy. Disney, Disneyland on the teacup ride. Remember, I've told you that's where I always tried to keep my mama. On the teacup ride. You know, it's a world of laughter and a world of joy and whatever that song says. <laughs> you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.